What would be a funny thing to say to a surgeon before anesthesia kicks in 5 seconds later. I had to get some surgery that involved cutting open my head. Right before they gassed me, I said, I should warn you, there's a spooky skeleton in there. The last thing I remember is his response of I'll try to look out for that. Doot doot. I had broken my wrist and was being put under to have 4 pins inserted. They gave me my anesthesia through an knife. I felt coldness spreading up my arm and across my chest. The nurse asked how I was doing and I said this must be what dying feels like. I heard her say oh. My. God then I was out. Ro. I actually have a relevant story that happened recently. As I was getting ready to go under they were placing a device in my mouth to keep me from biting down on the scope they were going to use for the endoscopy. Think medical bull gag. But a hard plastic ring instead of a ball. As the gal was placing it and I asked. Wait. What's the safe word? I heard a good amount of laughing as the world turned to black. This is amazing. My dad was in the middle of a surgery repairing some pretty nasty damage on his wrist after a skiing accident. He was under heavy anesthesia but the surgeons were having serious trouble with the screws in his wrist, which apparently jarred him around enough to wake up. He noticed their struggles and managed to say righty tighty, lefty loosey, then he passed back out. Ha, huh. I'm told that when I was out having one of my fingers patched up and another reattached after a table saw accident, I asked the surgeon if the drill he was using to put screws in my hand was a Dewalt or a Ryobi. Once a tool man, always a tool man. How do you keep a surgeon in suspense? I had just woken up after having my shoulder worked on. I was in and out of consciousness for a bit and just generally freaking whacked out. I guess I shifted in the bed and moved the blankets a bit and exposed myself as the nurse came in. She smiled and moved the blankets back. I apparently told the nurse you saw mine. Do I get to see yours? My wife was in the chair next to the bed. I remember thinking the nurse was smoking hot. I woke up and she told me she was flatted. I have no idea what I said. Before going under for wisdom teeth the doctors said I might feel funny. They pushed the drugs and asked if I felt any different. My butthole. And only my butthole began to itch like crazy. And it was hot. Not warm. Hot like I just ate peppers with my ass. I told them my butthole is itching like crazy. The assistant was really bad at holding back a laugh. The doc resisted mightily. But he too succumbed to my newly discovered butthole emotions. They actually gave me some kind of drug that had the exact same effect when I had surgery. They warned me prior, though, and I kind of laughed it off until it actually happened. As the anesthesiologist was putting me under, he just said I'd start to feel sleepy soon. I asked him aren't I supposed to be counting back from 100 or something? He replied I don't know, I must have skipped that class. Being an anesthesiologist must be awesome as you can always get the last word in. I was being put under for a wisdom tooth extraction a few years back, and it was the first time I've ever had an anesthesia. They used injection method rather than gas, so they told me to watch the fluids going in so I could gauge when I'd feel sleepy. I had this idea that I would say something like oh no, doc, I've lost my eyesight or something else preposterous. Before I could collect my thoughts I just immediately blurted well she eat, my voice progressively getting lower, and passed out. Last time I went under, as I started to fade, I said, you're gonna have to drive, I'm fricked up, probably came out, you're gonna have a drive, I'm fuagdu up, method acting, I like it. Just before I blacked out the anesthetist said to me this is the stuff that killed Michael Jackson. Waking from anesthesia one time I heard someone say his blood pressure is a little high then I mumbled that'd be the anesthetist's assistant's fault. They then kinda startled asked quickly why is that becoming slightly more coherent I continued with she's really hot. They all laughed and said he'll be fine and released from theater. Awful lot of white people in here. Me. After being sedated for a colonoscopy. This is even funnier if you're also white. So after my dad had a triple bypass, and was just waking up and they had removed the breathing tube I was in the room with him. I said something along the lines of everything went perfect with your surgery dad. No problems. My dad in his drug haze said that is because I am a perfect specimen of the human male. And it couldn't have gone any other way. Nurses were cracking up. When I got my wisdom teeth removed. Doctor. Alright so you feeling that sedative yet? Me. Yeah a little bit. 
I bet I can stay awake though. How long can people usually fight it? Doctor. Not long. Good night. Me. Blackout. I remember laughing when I woke up because that was the last thing I remember. If something goes wrong and I go into a coma, don't you dare freaking cut my coma beard. Yes, mom. My surgeon told me to think of a happy place. Then he asked me where it was. The Simpsons kicked in, and I told him it was the happiest place on earth. To Anna, I didn't stay awake long enough to see if he got the reference. Tahiti. It's a magical place. I swear to god, if I wake up as Robocop. If I don't make it through this, tell my wife I want her to be buried alive with me. If I don't make it through this, tell my wife I said, hello. They had a thing checking my heart and it fell off and it flatlined. I told them god damn it you killed me. Quick we're losing me. I tend to get massive erections while under anesthesia, but it's fine. Just tape it down if it gets in the way. Apparently that's actually a thing. The blood flow is actually usually stopped by a muscle, and when that muscle relaxes the blood flow increases and causes boner. So the anesthetic relaxes this muscle. This also explains the random boners you get in algebra in high school while you were bored. Yo lem know if you see my phone in there. I am getting my butthole operated on at the end of the year. Save. When I got my wisdom teeth out, the dentist's office was right next to a funeral home. I told the guy that if anything went horribly wrong, they could just take me next door. Mother and doctor were not amused. As they were pushing the drugs they asked me to count backwards from 10. All I could say was, no. The room erupted in laughter and I was out. Freaking make me, doc. I had to have a polonidal cyst removed from my ass crack and can remember giggling like a madman because I asked the entire operating room so, who drew the short straw and has to shave my ass? When I had my wisdom teeth removed and was given general anesthetic, I apparently said if this is what being on drugs is like, sign me up, he went and told on me to my mother. I actually did the same thing before both of mine, I managed to get out, I'll see you in the future doc, or something. Either way once the drugs kicked in I didn't care. That's heavy. I asked for a tummy tuck while being wheeled in for a bowel resection. I said while you're cutting it open, just cut some off. Then when I was done my surgery, but still pretty messed up on drugs, I asked if I was skinny and then cried when my doctor told me he didn't give me a tummy tuck. Same doctor, different procedure, terribly inappropriate joke. Had to have a colonoscopy, so they gave me some medication where I was awake, but like, it was weird. Anyways, I was feeling silly and told him first time doing anal on camera, and I'm not even getting paid. I asked for a tummy tuck after both of my c-sections. Doc gave me the same answer each time. I make it work, I don't make it pretty. Right before I went under to have surgery on my septum, I was about to start counting backwards before they put the mask on. Does anyone need anything while I'm out? The last thing I remember was an all room full of people hysterically laughing. I'm gonna need to get surgery so I can use this. A buddy of mine was having surgery done and went through right as he passed out. The other way around, I was cracking jokes with the nurses and anesthesiologist before a big surgery and everyone was laughing. Anesthesiologist turns to me and says, well it's not fair that you're the only one not on anything and then hit me with anesthesia and I was out. I said to my doctor during my wisdom teeth extraction, doc don't start I'm still awake to which he said, we're already done, those drugs are legit. For the record, my wife does not like it in the butt. Because I said this before my surgery, my wife is a nurse who works at the hospital I was in. I don't remember saying this, but her co-workers remember it. To the surgeon and nurse, I just want you both to know good luck, we're all counting on you. Surely you can't be serious. Patient, knock knock, medical staff, who's there? Patient, nobody, medical staff, nobody who? Classic exit. Pre-op Marco. Post-op polo. My twin owes me big time for this one. Surgeon. Mine too. I told them that I hadn't pooped this morning and that if I crap on them, it's their fault for scheduling the surgery at 6am. Then I passed out. Last time I went under, 
started to feel a sort of paralysis and couldn't move. Me. Whoa. Did you give me something? Nurse. Yes. Relax and don't fight it. Me. Okay. But you should sell this stuff in the gift shop. Everybody laughs. Surgeon. Are you okay? Me. Yeah. But I'm disappointed there's no cake. Surgeon. Laughing. On the recovery nodes right give the patient cake. Next thing I know I'm waking up in recovery with a slice of chocolate cake on the table next to me. My wife went to the dentist last weekend. After several shots of numbing she sang to him I can't feel my face when I'm with you. To the dentist credit without batting an eyelid he replied in full voice cause I numbed it. You mean last weekend. I will use the top comment in my surgery tomorrow. We gotta make ops comment the top comment. That way he confuses the surgeon. When my appendix burst I was being wheeled in and as the doc was getting ready and I was about to pass out he said jeez this is rusty and held up a scalpel. I could tell he was joking and off I went to sleep. When I woke up he came to check on me and the first thing he said was have you seen my watch. I crap you not. He was a very funny man and it really helped calm me down in a situation where I nearly died. When I was 15. I discovered that I could pull my foreskin back behind my penis head. Needless to say, my foreskin was so tight I opted for circumcision. My doctor, Dr. Lentz, was the funniest dude I've ever met. Told me my dong was gonna look like Frank Kempinus for a month or two but it's cool. Anyways, I am in the or on Christmas Eve and I feel the anesthesia starting to kick in, and before Dr. Lentz walks out, I shout slur doc, please. Just take care of the little guy. And he stops, turns around, bows to me and says, as if he were my own. I laughed once then passed out. I was being wheeled into emergency abdominal surgery once and my girlfriend was with me. We're rolling down the hall and they have the mask out to put me under and I pause and say to her don't let them touch my dong. The nurse smirked a little and they put the mask on me. In somewhat of a panicked fashion, I pulled the mask off. Stared up at my girlfriend, and with full weight and seriousness told her they can look at it, but no touching. I heard the doctor laughing as the gas kicked in. This is particularly funny because they most certainly did touch your dong. With long surgeries under general anesthetic you need a catheter so you don't leak all over the sterile field. Sorry. Similar, I had some kidney stones, and they had to go up there to unblock my parts, if you know what I mean. As I was waking up from anesthesia, I apparently asked how many people saw my PP. A few minutes later, as I was a little more coherent, I asked the nurse what's the craziest thing she heard from someone waking up from anesthesia. Her answer, how many people saw my PP. Good times. There is another Sky Walker. You have been visited by the enamored koalas. Comment slow and happy to get a relationship as good as that of the koalas. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.